Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. If you would have told me that the Modric Team of the Season live card would fit in Evolution, I would have not believed you, but that actually happened. Yesterday, EA released a live TOTS Evo that I think everybody is going to be doing because we can upgrade these already live cards, make them even higher rated before any of them have even achieved their upgrades and i want to talk about that because this is an evo that everybody honestly needs to do if you pack a live tots cord or even if you do one of the sbcs that fit this evo so i want to talk about that the prices on the market for these cards continue to move of course as we have games being played yesterday el clasico barca lost real madrid won i bet you can imagine who's moving up and who's moving down in the market more that's going to happen today with a huge syria showdown and as we're talking about these evos and live team of the season continuing today on monday to start off for this week are we actually getting daily evolutions because that was kind of a leak a couple days ago and we've had an evolution every single day thus far is that going to continue today as well as the player pick grind and sbcs we're going to talk about that more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now let's go back yesterday content on sunday let's cover it first starting with the sbcs we didn't get an icon pick guys we got a hero player pick returning to this game the heroes man i mean every time we see one of these we're just like nah this is not worth it the icon picks are so much more worth it than the hero picks because of the quality of players that you can get and the more and more that i think about it the more that i think it just boils down to the fact that there's just way more promo icons this year they've released way more promos that include icons in them than they have than heroes and i think that just gives us such a small pool of heroes to choose from and, and upgrade to right triple threat cards those have been in the game for ages it's triple threat ucl or fantasy heroes we haven't had any heroes since the fantasy promo which now being inside of team of the season seems kind of a while ago and especially for the ucl and triple threat heroes how many of those actually fit into our teams now if you're doing this 88 plus encore hero player pick you are doing it solely to try to pack a fantasy tevez fantasy company any of those couple uh really good fantasy cards it just seems like maybe the player pool is smaller so you think you have a better chance but I don't know, man. It just doesn't seem like it's worth the coins. And I think the community feels the same way. 8% upvoted. And fodder is dropping. Guys, fodder on some levels is getting almost as low as it was on Friday night before it kind of went up on Saturday, right? Remember we saw 87s go from 8K down to 6,000 coins. They're almost... 6,000 coins flat again with some of these prices dropping off yesterday because the icon player pick went away. And that's an SBC that so many people love. And so they just stopped doing it, right? And uh, that means fodder got supplied a bit more through the lightning rounds. And you're not seeing the prices move that well in the market. I think I would say if you actually wanted to club stock some fodder, I'm talking 86s, 87s, and 88s. Might not be a terrible idea to put a couple of those in the club. The fact that 85s are almost 4K and 86s are 4.5K should be like pretty crazy to us, right? Because the 85s are required in the 86 double. Um, these were all the way down to 4.2K. If you can snag 86s for the low 4K range, I think that's a really good buy. I think there's potential for those to rise during the week as we probably have less packs opened today and tomorrow. Maybe a little bit more on Wednesday with weekend league rewards, but that's just going to push people to go and do more of the player SBCs and other packs and, and existing icon SBCs maybe that are already on this game. So that's kind of a fodder situation at the moment the icon or sorry the hero pick yesterday definitely did not impact that now a player sbc that probably made some more waves than the player pick it did yesterday was the lucas vasquez and we had this card leaked we knew the stats right beforehand we just thought he was going to be in the mini release well he was actually an sbc lucas vasquez four star five star high medium work rates and a solid card, not three playstyle pluses, just two. But this this is just a solid card. I think a lot of people are looking away from this SBC at first glance because they just see 85 defending and 82 physical. And they think, if I'm actually going to play this guy at right back, I need some better defending stats. Totally understand that. I think he can, could be a really good right mid, though. He has that alternate position. 
His shooting stats look halfway decent. Again, passing crossing is great. He's got that whipped pass plus. He's got jockey. He's just missing anticipate, right? He's got long ball as well. And again, it's a live card. And one thing that helps this card out right now is the fact that Real Madrid won yesterday in El Clasico 3-2. So there's three goals to his name for the potential eight goal total upgrade. And they already got the first win. So it's looking really good. For this Lucas Vasquez and only 100,000 coins, a Real Madrid right back with a five-star weak foot. I mean, I don't think we can complain too much, to be honest. This is a good one to craft during the week. If you're opening up those 80-plus play, 81-plus player picks, if they come back today in some way, shape, or form, if you're opening exchanges, if you're not crafting a major SBC, this would be one to get done. Two Team of the Weeks required uh, for sure is annoying because those are going up on the market, but those are craftable as well. Not as craftable with that in 83 times 10, but they're still there. I just think this SBC is nice. I think it's a big player, uh, Real Madrid player, La Liga links for 100,000 coins with the potential upgrade. And once we get into talking about the Evo, you'll see that this SBC could have some extra value to do because of the potential that he could be with the evolution that came out yesterday. And that's the big thing from yesterday. That was the biggest piece of content. Now, I know not everybody loves Evos 100%. I really love Evos for sure, but not everybody wants to engage with these. But I think this is one that everybody has to do, guys, because it's just crazy. Take a step back and think about this for a second. EA dropped live team of the season cards. Live meaning they upgrade, right? And then they dropped an evolution where you can put a card who is 4 million coins if you're lucky enough to pack him or crazy enough to buy him off the market to then put him into an evolution. But the fact that you can upgrade a card that's 4 million coins and that high rated in an evolution is crazy. That's what I'm trying to get at here, guys. I can't believe if you would have asked me yesterday that about the live tots upgrade. We even mentioned in yesterday's video, I was expecting this evolution to only upgrade cards like the lower rated ones. I even mentioned like, hey, maybe you want to go buy somebody, right? That would maybe fit this Evo that could be cheaper and maybe they go up on the market. Well, no, because there are so many insane cards that fit this evolution, guys. It is fantastic. Max 93 pace, so that disqualifies just a few cards. And it basically just changes your card into a extra boosted live team of the season item that is still live. You get plus two passing, plus two dribbling, plus two defending, and plus two physical. No pace or shooting boost. Now, for me, I've only packed three different TOS cards. Two from the guaranteed, uh, two from regular packs, one from the guaranteed pack. Um... So I don't know who I'm going to put in this yet. I think I'm going to wait to decide. But if you take a look at the potential cards you can create from this, of course, the Lucas Vasquez SBC is a popular one. He goes to a 92. Take a look at this Lucas Vasquez card, by the way. If you put him in the evolution and then Madrid go on and get both of the upgrades, he will become 94 rated and have insane stats 96 pace 96 passing and dribbling with 90 defending 86 physical and 88 shooting that is that's disgusting that is a crazy card sure he doesn't have three play style pluses which is definitely becoming the meta but that is a insane lucas vasquez card if you're a madrid fan that might be the place where you go i think the second most popular card in this evolution today guys might be Besek because this card is exploding on the market and the hype for this card is through the roof. This evolution with the play styles that it gives out, I think actually lends itself to being better for a midfielder or a defender because it gives long ball pass and press proven play styles, of course, while just boosting the pa uh, pa passing, dribbling, defending, and physical on the card. So, that's why I think it lends itself better to a midfielder or a defender. And I think that's why Bissek has so much hype. And you actually saw his price go up on the market when this evolution came out. He went up, which is crazy to, to think that this card, which is almost 500,000 coins, 480, 490K, people were literally going to the market yesterday to spend 450K, buy him up to 550 so they could put him into an evolution that makes the card untradeable. That's crazy, right? It's crazy that people are willing to go ahead and do that just for the upgrades for a card, especially if it's that hype. Now, again, the biggest downside to this is you don't get the team of the season live card design. If you tell me that that 90 Hinkape does not look as good as a 91, you're crazy. The 90 Hinkape with the TOTS design is so clear of the evolution design. That's the biggest problem with this. I don't want an evolution card. 
uh, from team of the season. I want the live tots design because it's just way better, right? That's the biggest downside of this. Uh, but if you'd rather just have a card that plays better in game than looks better in the menus, which I think a lot of you guys do, then who cares about the card design, right? But that's just one thing to mention. Of course, EA say here, note, the live tots upgrades will still apply to your Evo version. I would have to imagine there's going to be some sort of mistake with that. You know, it just seems like it's going to happen that way. And I would love it if maybe after you get this card Evo, maybe it changes back to the live toss design after it gets upgraded. I doubt it, but you know, that's just something that maybe is going to happen, but probably not since you've already put it into the Evo and changed the card design. It's just crazy. I, I just can't wrap my head around it that this card on the market, Modric and Bruno both fit this evolution and they're so expensive like e cards like this never fit evos and and ea dropped that yesterday so that's kind of a wild one here's my last bit of advice i would give you is like this vasquez you could do this and you know 20 days from now the sbc is still out right you can wait to decide who you want to put into this it might be worth waiting to see what player actually is going to get more upgrades because you, again you have 20 days to figure out who you're going to put in the evolution and if you wait maybe 15 to 20 days, by then you'll know a card might have already claimed both up upgrades for how much they've played and the goal scored and the wins, right? So that's one thing that lends itself to actually waiting to put somebody into this Evo instead of doing it right away. So that's one thing yesterday, of course, that was honestly the biggest thing for sure of content. One thing we didn't see yesterday was... A mini release, which is very interesting because we still have a couple of leaked cards. I guess now we're just assuming that those names that we saw as TOTS live cards that are leaked still are going to be coming as SBC players during this next couple of days of the TOTS live promo. So that's just kind of something to look out for as well because there was no mini release. And if we didn't get a mini release yesterday, we're probably not getting a mini release. And we're going to be heading straight into the Premier League team of the season this Friday. Let's talk about live Tots cards again just a little bit. I looked up Kudus just a second ago. Uh, he is down bad. Again, guys, these are live team of the season cards, which means potential to go up. Also, big potential to go down. This card was 550,000 coins at one point during the weekend. West Ham lost yesterday. They didn't just lose. They got smacked. Sorry to my West Ham fans. From 538k down to 400,000 coins where he is now. He could have a bit of a bounce back, right? This is definitely people that are selling off because they didn't play that well. They scored two goals, but they didn't get a win. And of course, that kind of kills some of the hype with a live card that gets upgraded for the wins. That happened with two major cards yesterday, Kudus and Rafinha. Now again, on the flip side, Modric is going up, right? Because Barca lost, Real Madrid won. Rafinha goes from 1.1 mil now to 900k i believe on the market right now which seems really low and there actually could be some bounce backs today guys on some of these cards like i mentioned just because people are going to wake up today on monday which by the way is a weekend league day people are playing weekend league today on a monday which isn't abnormal but there's still extra demand for these cards in the market because of that weekend league demand there and gameplay wise uh, there could be some movements. I was actually just looking at Zaha for kind of the opposite reason. Zaha, uh, yesterday, uh, Galatasaray won, and they scored four goals. Bro is literally halfway to both upgrades happening, and he's down. And his card in the last two days has moved very well each day. I have not bought any. I've not been trading like at all this weekend besides the foot birthday sun card. Yesterday, he went from 280 up to 315. He was down at 268,000 coins uh, just now. But then again, on Saturday, he went from 277 up to 340 so i don't know how high the zaha card is going to go today but i think he's one of the most popular cards in the promo team so if like right now i'm sitting here if i see 260 like i'm even going to drop this bid as we kind of finish out this video if i hit can hit a 260k bid price on the zaha i'm happy with that to, to maybe risk it and see if he goes back up to 300k today and collect some decent profit per card that's not too bad of a flip if we get him at 260 and sell at 300 that's a hope right that he could go up a bit today promo cards on mondays in the past couple of weeks have been doing well and one thing to consider is guys most of the packs do get opened on the weekends and these are live cards which again they're live and we know one thing about live card promos is that they are good investments 
but oftentimes you have to invest early before the games start going, which some of these have already been going, um, and, and the prices start to move. So that's one thing I do want to mention. But again, the thing that's different about this time around is we've got Premier League team of the season coming on Friday with more cards and a lot more hype for that. One um, matchup I actually want to draw your attention to today, huge game, Bissek versus Loftus Cheek. We've got Inter versus Milan today, guys. It's going to be a massive, massive game. Bissek upgrade on the line. Loftus Cheek upgrade. Well, I guess progression towards an upgrade is on the line as well. That's something to really watch out for today. If Milan win, Loftus Cheek is going to go up. If they lose, he's going to go down. Same thing with Bissek. So keep an eye on that if you have either of those cards tradable right now in your club. But I am going to put some coins into that Zaha. If I think if I can win a couple here at 260, that's kind of like my buy price. I don't know if I'm going to win any. Looks like I got outbid twice there. Um, I might let those slide through then because I don't want to pay. Yeah, I mean, I'll maybe pay 262, but I don't want to pay any more than that just because I'm not trying to risk it too much, and I have not watched the market a ton this weekend, so I don't want to risk it too crazy. I was going to buy Kudus at like 400k as well, but I just think that like there was a lot of supply on this card. Looks like a lot of people are like panic selling their investment and hoping that it bounces up. I could see him being 450k again, but I don't know if I want to pay that, um, pay 400k to sell him at 450. I guess that's okay profit. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on some of these Tots Live cards today on Monday. Now, other things to happen today on Monday. We talked about the daily Evo situation that was leaked a couple of days ago. Um, I think when we saw the leak for the live tots upgrade, it was live tots upgrade one and two that were leaked. So I don't know if we're going to get another one today, if it's the exact same evolution and EA just dropped the same thing so they can continue saying daily Evos are coming to this game. That sounds like a very EA thing to do, but I don't know. That's just something to watch out for in regards to the daily Evo situation. And also what I would watch out for is it's Monday, right? So what do you know? player picks are what we're interested in and the 81 plus player pick our favorite is going away and uh, you know the schedule right by now it's been one week the 81 plus the other week we get the 80 plus if we get the 80 plus back this week that would be a w ea please do that don't change anything they changed kind of like the 83 times 10 to a more expensive upgrade pack i really hope that they do not change the 81 plus player pick because this is still the thing that allows us to craft a bunch of this game right now, pack team of the season cards, if possible, I guess not more. So if possible, but if you get lucky, um, I've even, I'm starting to run out of gold commons and stuff here. I've got a decent amount, but you can tell that's the SBC is auto populating a lot of rares because I've turned in a lot of commons. I got to do more exchange packs. I got to open some more daily gold upgrades, but we love these player picks and they really help the menu craft and grind. Of course, with how this game has been set up, for the past while even if you're just getting 83s that helps you get the team of the weeks helps you craft all the other SBCs for upgrades and such so hopefully 80 plus player picks return today and then you know a player SBC is very possible too because again like I mentioned there's multiple leaked names but I think for most of us we're going to be crafting on SBCs that are already available whether it's the Havertz you're still working on whether it's Rio one of the icons Zambrata Dino with the crafting and with the packs that are available at the moment even the store packs that people are opening still crazy store packs being released every single day lightning rounds multiple hours per day ea is going for the bag and uh i mean we're not surprised i'm still holding on to some packs though guys i'm still holding on to some of my really really big packs um i'm opening the small ones keeping some of the big ones i'll open some more 83 times tens this week but i think you know 85 10 87 4 i think that sort of stuff i'm going to be saving more for premier league tots coming this weekend and it's really now we're looking forward to that and like that's the next big thing to build up to i'm very excited for it because prem tots always brings the hype um and yeah good luck with your weekend league if you're still finishing those games uh looks like kudos is actually going to go up right now so might not be able to get the price that we wanted here hopefully if you guys bought one at 400k you get that sale at like 440 hopefully it goes up that high but good luck with your weekend league games it is tough out there for sure but i'm excited to be back on the streams today we will be grinding the menus um and getting some packs open also getting some games played it's just been a really busy weekend boys like moving all the stuff getting everything done and recording this video late trying to get it out on time it's been a busy one man so i haven't been uh, on the game much maybe that'll impact my pack weight a bit you know not logging in as much Maybe I'll have a good 86 double tomorrow on stream. So if you haven't checked out the streams, make sure you do those links are down below in the description. 
But uh, yeah, guys, have a Monday. Start of a brand new week and one day closer to real TOTS cards being in packs. Premier League TOTS Friday. I'm sure we're going to start getting leaks soon. That's one other thing to mention. Leaks for Prem TOTS. Be there. We'll be covering them as they come out. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the count. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.